All right. Well, I guess she was correct about being under the lake. Makes sense why the chamber was so easily flooded as well. But it seems the entrance to the shrine is quite a ways away. May take me some time to travel there. However, it is close to Lakeview Manor, so when I'm done at the shrine, it should be simple for me to make a short journey over and empty my pockets. Oh, clay. Delicious. wonder why so many of the places I need to go in Skyrim are hidden up in the hills. Why can't there just be a direct route to where I want to go? A road right up to it? I suppose, though, it is easier to defend a place that's hidden among the crags and crevices. Caves. Rocks. Towers. I've been hunting and fishing in these parts for years. Good for mm -hmm. you. May I pet your dog? That's right, buddy. Fantastic. I see you up there. Whoever you are. None of my concern. This water looks warm. Well, it feels a bit warm as well. Strange coming out of the mountains like that. I think it would have cooled. This must be it. Hilarious that Carlia spent all these years as a nightingale, has no idea what I will face here. Ghosts were at the bottom of my list of expectations. But here you are. I don't recognize you, but I sense that you're one of us. That's right. Who are you? A nightingale. The last of the nightingale sentinels, I'm afraid. The last. I've defended the sepulchre alone for what seems like an eternity. Well, hopefully I don't relieve you of your duty. Any time soon. betrayed by one of our own kind. In fact, I'm to blame for what's happened here. Are you Gallus? I was blinded. Blinded by dark treachery masquerading as friendship. Your story Perhaps sounds... if I had been more vigilant... Exactly. Then Mercer Frey wouldn't have lured me to my fate and stolen the skeleton key. Exactly like Gallus. I haven't heard that name. How do you know of me? The key! You have the skeleton key! I never thought I'd see it again. Well, surprise, surprise. And Mercer Frey? Dead. Disintegrated, uh, specifically. Then, it's over. And That's right. my death wasn't in vain. Well, it was, but... I owe you a great deal, Nightingale. Good. Good. I, uh, accept money. Ugh. I mean... Technically, I started out joining the Thieves' Guild in order to get rich. 
Then I found out the guild has no honor. The guild leader had no honor, I should say. And I was charged by Nocturnal to do this. I had no knowledge of the key before Nocturnal. And I don't desire the key for myself or for the guild to keep it. So I suppose it's hers. That's quite a noble sentiment for someone in our, well, in your line of work. Sure. My only regret is that you had to undertake this task alone. Oh, me too. I tried to get your girlfriend to join me. Carlyle? She's still alive? Indeed. I feared she'd befallen the same fate, ending up a victim of Mercer's betrayal. Well, technically she was, but he didn't kill her in the process. Nothing would bring me more pride than to return the key, but I'm afraid it's impossible. Well, pride is an abomination, I arrived, anyway. I felt myself, well, dying. It's a weird thing for a ghost to say. The sepulchre isn't merely a temple or a vault to house the key. Within these walls is the Ebon Air. A conduit to Nocturnal's realm of Everglow. Wow. When Mercer stole the key, that conduit closed, severely limiting our ties to her. So she's keeping your spirit alive, then. Well. I'm afraid so. I'm weakening, and I can feel myself slipping away. The years without restoration of my power have taken their toll. Fine then. Whatever damage has been caused can only be corrected by following the Pilgrim's Path to the Ebon Air and sure. replacing the key. Pilgrim's Path? The Ebon Air is a conduit through which Nocturnal you mentioned influences that. our world. Not through magic or blessings, but purely through luck. Hmm. I keep hearing that. Yes, absolutely. Your skill is your own. Don't let anyone ever tell you otherwise. But Nocturnal, she influences our life. Nearly imperceptible assistance we get when we ply our trade. Think about the guild. About the state it was in when you began. Think about all the little things you might have heard. A pick breaking when it shouldn't have. The clouds in the nighttime sky clearing at the wrong moment. Our access to those bits of luck are what separates us from common bandits. I see. Precisely. There are a few who still call nocturnal Lady Luck, and for good reason. Interesting. I'm sure you explained this to me already. Whatever is affecting the Nightingale Sentinels is starting to affect me, too. As I get closer to the Ebonmere, I begin to feel myself slipping away. Even right this moment, I feel strange when I don't think I should be feeling anything at all. Hmm. I wish I could help you. But I've been a prisoner in this very chamber for the last quarter century. Wow. All right. The only possible help I've come across are the remains of some poor fellow who is trying to follow in your footsteps. Perhaps his journal can help? Oh, certainly. With the Ebonmere closed and their sudden severance from the realm of Everglow, I fear they've undergone a drastic change. They're shadows of their former selves. They no longer remember their true purpose or their original identities. My spirit didn't manifest itself in the sepulchre immediately. So fortunately, I wasn't present when the Ebon Mirror was sealed. Oh, I see. However, ever since that day, I've felt my power waning, slowly draining away. Well, fine. Good luck, Nightingale. Yes, luck. 
keep saying that word. I see you. Desiccated corpse. I feel like I need these garnets for something. trust anyone named Anders. I've known that for years. Once knew a Nord named Anders. All he ever wanted to do was play games. Thought he was big stuff, Anders. Anything else of interest in the gloom? It appears not. Let us advance. Troll fat. Fine. This place is in ruins? Should I be cautious at all? Are the other ghosts going to try to kill me? See, he doesn't look friendly. He looks very much like he's guarding the area. If he saw me... The bear? Nearly as interesting as I thought it was going to be, but it's something. Cure disease. I'm sure I don't need these things. thing of interest in here. Well, no time like the present to uh, see if these are good or evil. And strong. Doesn't sound like the other one heard us. Pirate King. What I really could use is a enchanting table to disenchant a few things. Does someone live among the dead? Of course not. I don't want to uh, murder your spirit. I was hoping I could just sneak by.
Is this some kind of pulpit? I suppose those priests built it. I doubt there's any passing this one. Maybe right there. Perhaps. I was sort of hoping to find out whether or not you could be struck by these darts. Think so, eh? Haha, uh -huh. you can be hit by them. No. That's hilarious. A ghost that can't avoid traps. How unfortunate for you. Uh huh. I don't truly trust these dead any more than I do Draugr's. Darkness. Darkness is wild here. It's literal pitch black night. Whoa. And the light burns me. Even when I feel as though I'm in darkness. Isn't this troubling? Good try. I feel I could go back there if I wished. That could have been nasty. No way to extinguish these flames, I surmise. The center. Sure, there must be something of interest around here that I'm absolutely missing. Perhaps one day I'll find it. Well, is this light safe? Indeed it is. Is 
safe enough anyhow. Gold aplenty. Beautiful lady statues. Statue singular. You're going to attempt to murder me? I hope not. That's what normally happens. Just, uh. Just get this away from your notable self. If you don't mind, I could just, uh. Just cleaning this off for you. It's hideous the way that it's littered like this. This is clearly a secret door. You anything to say? No? Well, isn't this something? Come all this way to be greeted by nothing. Is there a lever? A switch? Sneaky. Ah, oh, really? than what could have happened. This is not some extensive, unnecessary trial. I don't know what is. There in the back reaches. Two of you. Can't imagine there's anything under there that I need. Was close. The endless sleep comes for us all. Did I really miss that shot? Wow, he did not miss that one. I'm sure I have some vigorous... There, it's beautiful. All 
Nice. Thinking they may have wasted a few. Wonderful. Necessarily a place of extreme interest. Aha. Uh -huh. Might as well. Frost salts, eh? Wemmer Inquiries. I'm pretty sure I've seen that book before. Excellent. Not a terrible place overall. Bit exciting. Perfect. Oh, the skeleton key. I might. I might fall in love with it. Wait, where am I? Is this not the entrance? Behind the statue it is. Yet I absolutely failed to see that doorway. Absolutely and completely. Is this going to trigger as I get close? No? Why take the chance? Insane. Well. I mean, surely I'm near my goal. Surely. What? But how would I possibly... Huh. Well, 
Well, getting hungry, eh? Surprise, surprise. Now, how on earth do I get out of here? Much fairer in person. My, my, what do we have here? It's been a number of years since I've set foot on your world, or perhaps it's been moments one tends to lose track. Of course. So, once again, the key has been stolen, and a champion returns it to the Sever. Well, champion, I. Now that the Ebonmere has been it. restored. You stand before me, awaiting your accolades. Of course. A pat on your head, a kiss on your cheek. Well, cheek is a mild... What you fail to realize is your actions were expected and represent nothing more than the fulfillment of your agreement. I mean, absolutely. I am a nightingale. Don't mistake my tone for displeasure. Fine. After all, you've obediently performed your duties to the letter. Absolutely. But we both know this has little to do with honor and oaths and loyalty. Well, of course. It's about the reward, the pride. Well, somewhat. Fear not. You'll have your trinkets, your desire for power. Oh, fine. Your hunger for wealth. Well. I bid you to drink deeply from the Ebonmere mortal. Really? For this is where the agent of Nocturnal is born. The oath has been struck. The die has been cast, and your fate awaits you in the Everglow. Farewell, Nightingale. See to what the king stayed this time, won't you? I'll do my best. Wait, but Brynjolf isn't here. How did you get here? I'm glad you were able to bring the key back safely. Nocturnal seemed quite pleased with your efforts. Well, of course. I wouldn't take that to heart. It's her way. Think of her as a scolding mother continually pushing you harder to be successful. Hmm. Probably sounding angry, silently content. I wouldn't know anything about that. I assure you, had she been displeased with you, we wouldn't be having this conversation. The circles at the base of the Ebonmere imbue you with powers befitting a Nightingale agent. The Crescent Moon represents the agent of Shadow, the Half Moon for the agent of Subterfuge, and the Full Moon for the agent of Strife. This is Nocturnal's way of maintaining balance. If you ever feel the need to change your abilities, you can return to the Sepulchre and step onto a different circle. Well... Be warned that once you've chosen, you can't reselect for at least a day. That seems very flexible. Now, your life as a Nightingale begins. Should the need arise, you'll be summoned to the Sepulchre in order to defend it. Well, I hope that doesn't interrupt anything. I'm in the middle of my... daily business. The Guild has welcomed me back with open arms. I feel like a void in my life has finally been filled. I only hope that this isn't an ending to things, but actually the beginning. Indeed. Why, perhaps the greatest crime spree Skyrim's ever known. Ha <laughs> ha There are pockets brimming with coin and coffers overflowing with riches ripe for the picking. Absolutely. We may be nightingales, but in our hearts we're still thieves. And we're damn good at what we do. For sure. Choose your path and your journey will be complete. Well. afraid you'd become like the others. If it were not for the actions of this Nightingale, your fears would have come true. 
He honors us all. What will you do now, That's right. Nocturnal calls me to the Everglow. My contract has been fulfilled. Will I ever see you again? When your debt to Nocturnal has been paid, we'll embrace once again. Oh, well, Gallus. Eyes open. Walk with the shadows. Goodbye. <laughs>